Good morning from New Identity Ministries International. Praise the Lord. Um, I love the Lord because He loved me first. And today, we get to worship Him. And there is a way to worship Jesus. Amen. He's pleased with you. He loves you with no conditions on the condition. He's, it's an unconditional love. And But there is certain things we must do in the Word of God. We must be doers of the Word of God to receive what we already have in our born-again spirit. That's the part of you that was saved was your spirit. <clears throat> your body is not saved. Amen. It's If your body was muscular before <laughs> you got saved, it still might be muscular after <laughs> you got saved. Amen. So, it's not your body that got saved. And it wasn't your mind, your soul that got saved. It was your spirit. We know that some people say, oh, we're going to go save some souls. You, the only way to save a mind, because that's where the soul is, is by renewing it in the Word of God on a constant basis every day. Romans 12, 2. Amen. Now, what we do have, we have a free gift for you. And that free gift for you is how to receive Jesus as the Lord pamphlet. This pamphlet will help you bring people to Christ. Your friends, you share this pamphlet, pamphlet with your friends and your neighbors and and uh, whoever, whosoever comes in your path that the Holy Spirit brings, you are armed with salvation. Amen. These pamphlets were professionally done by people of God on the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. They're very powerful pamphlets. Why water baptism? It teaches a person why they should be water baptized. And there's invitation prayers also. <clears throat> it's all scripture based. Um, there's one more that I dropped on the floor. <laughs> How? This is one of the most crucial staples essentials in Christianity besides becoming born again. You must be become born again, Jesus says. And we'll get to the scriptures. This is the Holy Spirit. Benefits package today. Day 26. Amen. So, what we need to know is that how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. This is an essential. These are gifts that Jesus left for you so you can understand Him and what He has provided for each child of God. Amen. So I'm going to dive in very quickly to these scriptures and there's a whole lot of them. If you're coming to search the truth, get a pen in your hand because this will be your weekend scriptures. It'll bring you to places into the will of God. It'll bring you where you need to go. He will guide you through His Word. Because it's a lamp. It's a light unto our feet. Amen. So, we're going to be going to uh, day 26. It says here in the Holy Spirit Pit Benefits Package, which you can pick up your copy which will lead you into the love of God, the purpose of God, your healing, what what you're supposed to be doing, why He loves you. It's it's a really, it's the thinnest book around, but the most powerful book you'll ever put your hands on. It'll bring you to in, in, into the truth and the light of God's Word. That it, it's a remarkable. Remarkable book. It's just not another book written about something or, or there's a lot of books that are encouraging. 
This book brings you into the Word of God and it will show you your purpose in what you need to do here on earth and how to worship Him. He's looking for true worshipers. And and there's there's different ways of worship. And and it's our reasonable service to him is to worship the God of all creation. We get to do that. Well how does that happen? Does it happen by when the music ministry goes up in front and starts worshiping? Well, that will bring you into a heart of worship for sure. Amen. But you can do that without music. You can make a melody unto the Lord and be thankful. But let me go into the scriptures how to position yourself to worship our Father and Jesus, His Son. Amen. So this is day 26. In, day, in today's praying in tongues time, you must pray in tongues. You must be baptized. It's, it's, Jesus requires that. He told Peter to go. Peter was really a wonderful great apostle and he was even better <laughs> when he was received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He started to understand what true worship meant. He understood what Jesus' words meant to him. They had no rec they had only a little bit of what it meant because they always talked to one. What does that mean? What does this mean? Amen. All they had was the Septuagint at the time. And now they have Jesus' words that burnt in them. And they put them inside of a book that describes it. It's called the Word of God. Amen. And they laid their lives down. And, and, and gave their lives totally to Lord Jesus. Day 26 in praying in tongues time. Focus on worshiping the Father in spirit and in truth recognizing that you are a true worshiper. Write these scriptures down. And we're going to read John 3 and 6. I'm going to have a lot more scriptures to give to you today. John 3 and 6. John 3 and verse 6. The Bible says, the Word of God says, the living Word says, that which is born of flesh is flesh, and which is born of the Spirit is spirit. You were born of the Spirit if you have received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. Let me move on to this. Those who are only experience natural birth are limited to only perceiving natural things. Those who receive the spiritual birth it's about Nicodemus asking, <laughs> How am I must be born again? By the water, listening to the Word, and the Spirit. The Spirit of God gave you revelation to get saved. Water and Spirit. Amen? Now, let's go to John 4, 23 and 24. Now, this is going to be power packed here. I want you to listen carefully. Amen? The Holy Spirit brought you here today to teach you a few things. You're going to get some revelation from the Word of God today because that's who is our teacher, is the Holy Spirit. 4.23, John 4.23. But the hour has come, and now, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit, there it is again, and in truth, for the Father seeks such to worship Him. He sought you out. He's pleased with you. Amen. So let me just go into the scriptures a little bit deeper. Let's go deeper. The Lord seeks true worshipers. Those who worship Him in spirit and truth. The parables. The truth of Second Chronicles 6.19. Or 6.9. I won't read that one yet. Which says... For the eyes, well, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards them. Your heart is perfect towards Jesus. How's that? Well, that's where he lives. He's living there, so it's perfect. Amen. You are vacuum sealed, vacuum packed, 
Stay with me. <laughs> John 4.24 For the ones that are going to be listening today and hearing the Word of God, it's going to change your life. Because faith comes by hearing. More faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. You can increase more by get grabbing the knowledge. Grace and peace will be multiplied to you by the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, it says in John 4, 24, God is a spirit. Mm. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. The reason we must worship the Lord in spirit is because that's the only part of us that's worthy to approach the Lord and that's the only way to communicate with the Lord is by worshiping from your spirit. Amen. You can worship and dance and 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 give him thanks and and uh, shout unto the Lord. Praying in tongues brings perfect worship because that's how you worship is in the spirit. Amen. In your spirit you worship him. So praying in tongues time and picking up your daily devotion will bring you to an action. It's an action guide and you get to experience the power of God that's on the inside of you already. It says here, um, we approach the Lord. When we are born again, we become brand new creatures in our spirits. Write this down. 2 Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You can read it this way. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is just like he is. Your old nature has died. And your new nature became just like Jesus. That's what he's saying to you here. And that's what the other scriptures are going to say to you here. In 1 John 4.17, the Word of God says, Here I am is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. There it is. Write this one down, 1 John 4.17. Because as He is, so are we in this world right now. I've told you one time I visited heaven. And I asked Jesus, I saw everybody else there. I didn't know I was in the place. But yeah, um, but I, I saw everybody there and they were just they were just beautiful. Beautiful looking people, my family, friends. I didn't even know it was them they looked so good until the end. But anyway, what happened was I said, Jesus, when I woke up and I sat in the office, I said, Jesus, where were you? <laughs> he says, Ron. I was inside of each and every one of them. And this scripture came to me. 1 John 4, 17. The second half of it. Because as He is, so are we in this world. And I thought about that. I said, we're identically like Jesus in our spirit. Perfect. No sin can enter there. You're not an old sinner saved by grace like some would want you to focus on sin. Don't. Jesus don't focus on sin. He wants you to focus on the righteousness of God. You are righteous in His sight. How? Because He lives on the inside of you. You've been vacuum sealed. Like, like, like seal a meal. <laughs> inside your spirit, you are 100% perfect, just like Jesus. That's what goes to heaven. That's how you communicate and worship Jesus. Now grab the other gifts. The gift of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He wants you to have that. Otherwise, you wouldn't have put it in the Bible to have that gift. Things. And then also, the gifts of all these other gifts. Man, on the front of the book, there's a gift. Smoke in there. That's the Spirit. There's, there you are walking to heaven. I'm telling you, this book is a heavenly book. Brings you into the Spirit of God, into the Word of God. Pick up your copy. I read it. I can say it's my book. But it's all words and scriptures in here. I just put down 
we just we just put down the scriptures in here and then the pamphlets these lovely leading people it, it will show you why you are a disciple of Christ the go pamphlet the baptism of the Holy Spirit pamphlet they're all inside the digital copy and also what happened when I received most of y'all don't even know what happened on the inside of you it took me three years I sat down in Bible college. I call it the Bible. It was a real Bible college. Because that's what we went out of was the Bible. We didn't have any other books. Amen. There were some other books like Body, Soul, and Spirit. Like Holy Spirit, Pit Benefits Package. <laughs> Praying in Tongues. It's not talked about enough in church. You don't hear this inside church. Some churches you do. And they're catching on. I see some churches, some big churches are turning right around now. Remember, 1 John 4, 17. It says, herein our love was made perfect. How was our love made perfect? That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because Jude said, Jesus is half brother. When you pray in the spirit, you keep yourself. When you pray in tongues, you keep yourself in the love of God. Jude knew that. He was Jesus' half-brother. Do you know one day Jude was sick home with Mary and, and he was he was faking that he was that he was well he was a little sick, Jude was. And and he says, Mom, I want to stay home. And Jesus walked past him, healed. Oh Jesus, why did you do that again? I wanted to stay home. <laughs> Just a joke. Ron Gray from uh, from Houston when I was at <laughs> this great mega church Robert Morris's church and Joel Holstein pastor assistant pastor came up and spoke to us that was John Gray brother John Gray and he told us that joke <laughs> but he used James as the sick <laughs> Jesus had made us just like him in this world right now 1 John 4, 17. That's good news. It is created in righteousness. Our spirit is created in righteousness and true holiness. Ephesians 4, 24. For the ones that need to question it. Ephesians 4, 24 says, write it down, make it plain, write these scriptures down. They are essentials. And that you put on the new man, which after God is created... In righteousness and true holiness. Woo, come on, somebody run around the room for me. <laughs> That's good news. Amen. Ephesians 4.24. And it says, pure and holy, even if we sin. I, I just love saying that. Because you're still going to sin. Amen. But not purposely. If you focus on sin, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be chasing your flesh, not the spirit. But if you focus on the righteousness of God, it it takes it renews your mind. It, you become transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have already the righteousness of God healing. You already have justification inside your spirit. You are just like Jesus is right now. Amen. In your spirit. Let's move on. Ephesians 4.24 is pure, holy, and even if we sin because it's been sealed by the Holy Spirit. Let's find out if it was. Ephesians 1.13 says, In whom you also trusted after that you have heard the word of truth. Oh, there it is. The gospel of your salvation. In whom also after that you believed you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. You're sealed. Vacuum sealed in your spirit. Nothing can ever separate you from the love of God. Nothing. Amen. Just turn back to the gospel. And if you never heard the gospel, this is the good news of the gospel. Jesus completed what we had to do. Now some up out there are just accusing the saints of all kinds of things. Jesus took away sin. Now look, the, you know, there's a time to say, hey, you know, this is the word. You need to listen to the word of God. Amen. 
He can't judge you because you've already been judged by Jesus righteous. You've been judged righteous. And when you go to heaven, you will be in your spirit. It takes on a form, a new body. That's what he said. That's what you, You're resurrected at that point. Wham! Brand new body. But your spirit, your, your, this body here that you're looking at, stays here. <laughs> it goes back in the ground, in the earth, where it came from. It belongs to Jesus. It's your reasonable sacrifice to give him praise. Amen? Your mind, hopefully, that thing stays somewhere else because you don't need that mind. It, it always wants to lean towards what the things of the earth is, not the things of heaven. It's your spirit that you want to bring alive. And you pray in tongues in your most holy faith and your mind becomes unfruitful. That's what tongues are for. It's to stop the schizophrenia. <laughs> Most people think it's the devil that's attacking us. No, it's the unrenewed mind that he already that he already put these laws on earth. If you start focusing on sin, that's what you're going to become like. If you focus on righteousness and righteousness scriptures, that's what you're going to become like. Amen? Amen. Come on. Amen. Let's go. Let's go deeper. Ephesians 1, 13 says, In whom you also trusted. After that you have heard the word of truth, that the gospel of your salvation, in whom after that you believe, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. He promised us the Holy Spirit. He promised us this is what's going to happen. Now we need to pick up the, the giftings, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, praying in tongues. You get to do that. You get the mind of Christ to learn about inventions. To make your business run better. To, to pray for your children. When you don't know what you ought to pray for. He already has the prayer. He, he has them up in vials. Pours it out when you pray in tongues. Perfect prayers. You might not know what you're praying about. But that's okay. You can ask for interpretation if you like. But there's so much stuff coming out of you when you're praying in tongues. Amen. You're a vessel of honor. And when you pray in tongues, man, things change around you. We talked about groaning in the spirit. That's different from praying in tongues. Ooh. Come on. Let's go. Move on deeper. It's sanctified your spirit and perfect forever. Don't let no one tell you any different. Hebrews 10, 10 and 14 says, By the which we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. Hebrews 10, 10 through 14. And every priest standeth daily ministering offerings, oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. That's sin consciousness. Jesus took the sins. We don't need to keep talking about people uh, and their sin nature. We better be talking about the righteous nature which Jesus changed in 2 Corinthians 5.17. But this is in Hebrews 10, uh, 10, 12. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins, what, what's his name? His name is Jesus, forever sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth experience to his enemies, he made his footstool. Your enemies are your footstools. That's devils. And using people sometimes. <laughs> you can just tell them to go. In the name of Jesus. Because you're filled with power. The power of the Holy Spirit. For by one offering he had made perfect. Forever. Them that are sanctified. That is you. Once and for all he took care of all sin. Do you still sin? Yes. Did he take care of that too? Yes. So keep focusing. Did he take away the guilt? Yes. Did he take away the shame? Yes. It's like that guy on the commercial. Yes. <laughs> he, he made the one sales call once and for all men. He took all sin. All disease. In his body. Amen. Take authority. He gave you all authority. Man, 
Jesus didn't leave nothing out. He overpaid when he went on the tree for us. Cursed is a man who hangs on the tree. And Jesus became a curse for us. You don't have any more curses. The only ones you have is the ones that you've been speaking. Sin is a curse. If you focus on it, you're going to have what it says. Sickness, death, depression, pornography. You're going to be trapped in your body and in your mind. Because that's the only place. But you're still sealed in your spirit. You're sealed, made perfect on the inside. So we need to draw off of that spirit. Chris, listen to this from the beginning, man. This one's a heavy duty, heavy duty. Man, Woo! I'm getting a lot out of this one. From henceforth, expect until his enemies be... Man, Hebrews 10, 10 and 14. Listen to this from the beginning. I, I, My wife will make me listen to this guy. I only, I only can listen to him once, like right now. <laughs> Woo! Let's move on. We are true worshipers. Let's go to Hebrews 12, 23. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven. You're written in heaven, saints. And to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. You are perfect in your spirit. You are just like Jesus is right now, we read, in this world. Amen? You are just like Him. You are righteous. You are holy. You are sanctified. You are... He, he considers you without sin. Do you still sin? Of course you do. do should you have a... Uh, they, they, they said people are still sinning. They said they, they think they got a license to sin. I said the last time I've seen... Everyone was sinning without a license. Amen? So you, yes, exactly. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Brother Chris Harvey, you are a brand new creation. Brand new. Your old sinful man has been destroyed by Jesus. And your new nature is just like he is right now. Come on! Spotless, pure, holy, vacuum sealed. You are one third perfect in your spirit. Your mind needs help every day to focus on the Word of God. Come on! I love the Word of God because it, it transforms me. Metamorpho. Like a chameleon. I hang around Jesus and I, I get the same color. The glow. <laughs> We're here to set the captives free. It's the good news of the gospel. The Jews said the almost true good to be news because you have to believe. That's our part. But he gave us. Amen. <laughs> Never. We're in a great time. Amen. Let me give you a couple more scriptures. like a power pack. Write these down. Make sure you go from the beginning of this because there's a lot of good scriptures you can tell somebody about. Make sure you pick up the Holy Spirit Benefits Package. It's a 31-day devotional. It's an action guide. <laughs> and also, what you have in there is discipleship. What happened when I received Jesus? You can hand that to somebody. The prayer's on the back. It's, it's professionally done. <laughs> why water baptism? It'll teach you why. We get to do that. The most essential. This is a gift. Everything's gifts. How to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. There's a prayer in the back. You can lead people to the baptism. And then when you're mature enough, the go pamphlet. Whew, it's knitted inside the book. Andrew Womack endorsed it. Amen. You know you're hitting something when Brother Andrew sat down and read it. Hebrews 10, 19 says, Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. You can enter in now. Hey, Lord. Man, I love you and I thank you for this righteousness you gave me and this power and authority. Amen. To heal the sick. To be just like you are. 
Like I told you before, when I went to heaven, I came home. I said, Jesus, where were you? I saw everybody, my family. I didn't know it was them. And and he, I said, Jesus, where were you? He goes, Ron, I was in, in, inside of each person there. And the scripture came. As he is, so are we. Right now in this world, I prayed in tongues for a long time and fasted and prayed and emptied. And I went to heaven. I didn't even know I was there. They sent me back because one reason, the go pamphlet. I'm not going to tell you. This is the reason why they sent me back. <laughs> it was the go pamphlet. Let's move on to some more scripture. A few more. We're almost done. It's, I got a, I got a minute left. Romans 8.8 8 says, So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. We understand that. Amen. We're not in the flesh. We're in the spirit. Amen. So, it's only in discovering who we are in the spirit through our new relationship with Jesus that we can ever successfully worship the Lord. God is spirit. He is not flesh and bones, although the scripture speaks metamorphically of him having hands. Exodus 7, 5, if you want to read it. And 33, 22 and 23. A face. He also has a face. I saw that face. Don't tell me it is not rapture. I saw his face in rapture, man. He was up in heaven looking through. I'll tell you about that another time. You want to know? There's some out there right now that that are just missing it. They're they're more focused on is there a rapture or not. I'm more focused on is 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 the spirit alive or not. Amen. Are we brand new creations? On salvation, that's where it, all the essentials are, is right here in that Holy Spirit pit benefits package. It'll start you off walking and thinking of things in heaven and not on earth. That's where we're supposed to be. Just, we are just like his, he is right now in our spirit. I'll give you, I'll go a little bit more. Amen? Maybe. Okay. And it says, but we were created to be spirit beings like him. He desires for us to relate to him through the spirit instead of the flesh. John 20, 29. <clears throat> Write that down. And make sure you put that one up. 20, 29. There is a greater blessing on those who believe by faith and not by sight. What a powerful truth. The type of faith that Thomas operated was human or natural faith based on what he could see. Jesus Jesus said there was a greater blessing to be obtained. Man, Thomas on the road to Didymaeus, Jesus was walking right alongside of him. He couldn't even believe it was him. And, and uh, he invited him in in the upper room and he had some communion. He talked to them. And next thing you know, it's him. He can show up any time. Matter of fact, he lives on the inside of you. He can manifest presence too, uh, back and, and before your eyes too, but he's living on the inside of you. You are brand new in your spirit. You're just like Jesus is. I know you received something today. Watch the video from the beginning. Amen. Make sure you speak those things that are not as though they were praying tongues. God is your provision. He multiplies fishes and loaves. Amen. He can give you more than what I can give you. Amen. So you just keep praying and doing what Jesus told you to do. Amen. If it's working work, if it's ministering to orphans and children, which is the greatest thing to do, do that. Your provision's always there. <clears throat> there is no lack in the kingdom of God. Father, I just thank you. I lose this provision. I multiply fish and loaves to the people that are watching today. Their finances <clears throat> multiply. I know that happens. It happens all the time. All the time since I've been born again. Everything's always multiplying. I got to give stuff away. Amen. Now, so is the word of God. That multiplies. As your soul prospers, so shall you. Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health. Even as your soul prospers, you you have a prosperous soul today. You listen to this video, you have a prosperous soul. 
Listen it from the beginning if you want. If but the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. If you don't, if you're wanting, listen to this scripture. Listen, listen to this video from the beginning. Holy Spirit Pit Benefits Package, Day 26. We love you. We speak against infirmities in the body and the mind. Any type of growths on us, we speak those growths to go and dry up now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Father, for the for also the infirmities of the mind, I say for them to go. But he says, when you pray in the Spirit, these infirmities leave. Rosheri Bikaya. You need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You need to ask the Father for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gift of tongues. And everything will explode like when Peter was baptized in Acts chapter 2-2 two, two with the 120. Read it. Look what happened afterwards. My goodness. Jesus lives on the inside of every born-again believer. He loves you. He is with you today. Do what he says. Paul says, I pray in tongues more than all of these.